Everybody, it's Invicta. It's time for a Lost run. What? Yeah, we're playing as a Lost today. I know it's Saturday. It's like nothing special, but I wanted to do something special because of our meme of the day. Uh, basically, just because of the fact that we have an awesome artwork of the day here submitted by Front Nectarine uh, 6704. But before I show you the reason why we're just doing a Lost run, I want to say thank you all very much. We did another video across 3,000 likes, which now puts us at 183 out of, out of 210 for the Like Street goal, which will be announced tomorrow after the live stream, which I'm looking forward to. And I'm seeing the reactions as well. I, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, But here is your artwork of the day submitted. Uh, crochet of the day by, again, Front Nectarine 6704. Title thread was Crochet Lost Victor in all his spoopy glory. And also in this thread, they said, all handmade by someone who I have slowly been making uh, my way through Isaac with. We watch your videos is probably our main form of knowing what the funk we are doing keep on being awesome thank you very much they did say funk by the way f-u-n-k uh in case you thought that i, I swore there in the first minute of the video I, I didn't youtube so thank you very much front nectarine and everyone who uploaded that one and yeah you know this one is a tribute to both of you uh because we're playing as a loss today today is going to be uh delta tango one nine tango november nine hotel yeah it's been i don't know how long since we played as the lost but you know the loss is all right. Um, it is a challenging character. Again, it does fall under the category of what I would consider to be a gimmick character. Um, but I think that the loss does represent a very good teaching tool, at, le at the very least, for survivability. Um, you know, you shouldn't really ever get hit more than once per room. Uh, if you do come across some dangerous times, um, you know, being able to adjust on the fly, uh, all that is all, all that is part of being an Isaac player. And the Lost very quickly trains you that uh, if you get hit more than once in a room, I mean, yes, there is a level of Isaac BS that goes on in, in every single room and every single run, uh, but you should learn how to adjust, you know, adapt, overcome, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, Bear Grylls meme. So with that being said, of course, the Lost is still dangerous to play, um, especially the, those of you who are out there who are out there streaking. Um, you know, there are people who do lost streaks. There are some people who think that the loss is probably like a more challenging character than the Eden. I would disagree with that, uh, mainly because the loss doesn't have any randomized start. <coughs> Excuse me. Randomized start. Um, uh, you know, Eden can be strong, obviously, early on. It just depends on, you know, what he starts with. But the randomized stats thing really is a very big handicap. And uh, again, as I, as I explain this over and over again, this is just my opinion, but I do believe that Eden is the more difficult, true test of skill as an Isaac player just because of how randomized everything can be. We've seen very powerful Eden starts, and we've seen just god-awful Eden starts. So, you know, I think everyone who's ever watched this channel ever knows the, the horrors that can be uh, surrounding Eden. Now, we only have one bomb, and of course, I would love to get the compass... Um, with us only having one bomb and me not knowing where the secret room is, I mean, it might be there, but that'd be a really weird stretch. I'm going to bomb our donation machine again. We have been dinging our donation machine quite a lot lately, um, but that's, again, that's what it's there for. So obviously we don't need to buy soul hearts because the loss cannot get soul hearts, but we're going to start off with mapping and good, and, which is good. And also, of course, Montezuma's Revenge. Now, I got to say, I got to be careful with Montezuma's Revenge as the loss because obviously your boy loves to use it in close quarter capacity. So this is really going to be a, a test for not only myself, but like just like how well can we use Montezuma's Revenge without getting hit. Of course, that leads us to last week's question of the episode. Did I unmute my microphone? I did, okay. Whew. Just, just making sure. Uh, last week's question of the episode: What was your favorite moment from this episode? Did it make your day? That was the uh, that was the, this run will make your day episode. Uh, also happened to be the run that I accidentally muted my mic for most of. I think that was I think it was Flooded Caves one, uh, floor three basically. And uh, the most upvoted comment came in from Ronnie J. Shout out to Ronnie J. Uh, again, a perennial uh, YouTube commenter and also a, a frequent upvoter as well. Thank you very much, Ronnie. Uh, Ronnie said, when the episode started, because it's the start of a new Invicta foot vid, a new, yeah, let's try that again. When the episode started, because it's the start of a new Invicta video, easy for me to say. Luckily, I wasn't ordering fast food at the time. They would have gotten my order all wrong. Thank you very much, Ronnie J. I appreciate the very kind words. Ooh. I mean, Butterbean's fine, but like, yeah, <laughs> we're just, 
just gonna ignore it. I mean, like, I'd rather have butter bean than bag of crafting. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, Ronnie. I appreciate the very kind words and also everyone who upvoted that one. Second most upvoted comment came in from Kevin Shottle 45 who said, my favorite moment was when you realized your microphone was muted. I was thinking the whole floor, why isn't he talking? Is he muted? And then the crooked penny play was also really great. And uh, yeah, that, I mean, that was a, it was just a good episode overall. Like it was a fun episode, you know? So I love, I love doing that kind of stuff. And uh, or I don't love muting my microphone, obviously, but I love having those kind of fun episodes that everyone can enjoy. And also I get to enjoy as well, because like, you know, again, if you've watched my content for any extended period, you know that your boy goes through it. We go, we go through it. Yeah, that's, that's a funny joke game. Yeah, see the joke here is that we can't use Sanguine Bond as a loss, so. And uh, I mean, honestly, like I'm just gonna pass on that as well, because like, we're not going to take damage. Like, Vengeful Spirit is literally useless. It's even more useless than Sanguine Bond. Um, so, yeah, even if we had, like, nine lives, Sanguine Bond would still be technically better <laughs> than Vengeful Spirit because we can't take damage. Like, we literally, in the most literal sense, cannot take damage on this character. Um, oh, we got a random nickel here. And then the third most upvoted comment came in from CZH2432. Uh, Again, another very common commenter here. Thank you all very much for that. Uh, they said at five seconds, we said, hey, everybody, it's Invicta. It's time for the Binding of Isaac Victa Repentance series. This has always been my uh, the best part of your videos, and it always makes my day. Thank you very much, CZH. I do. I really appreciate it. I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't looking, for, I wasn't like fishing for compliments or anything on that, on that. I was just hoping that everyone enjoyed it, and it was a very enjoyable episode, fun episode, so um, I'm glad that everyone uh, did enjoy it. I'm glad, you know, I, I appreciate the kind words. Makes me feel all good inside. Uh, yeah. Nice reroll with the Eternal D Sizzle there. Um, we could still go into the shop and look for a full charge to maybe reroll the Devil Deal. If it's still open. Ooh. Well, eh. Uh, hang on. Let, let's think about this for a second. The coupon allows us to take two Devil Deals for the, for the price of one as the loss. That's pretty dang good. Like, the Eternal D6, I mean, some people really love it. Some people don't like it. I'm personally not a fan of it. Just because anything that can consume an item, like, is no is no bueno for me. But the, effect, the fact we can get two Devil Deal items is good. <clears throat> you have to think of it in the context of, of being as the lost. Because, obviously, you never, you, you, you cannot take two devil deals as the lost but with the coupon you can um so i'm definitely down for that get a reverse emperor card uh, which we probably i don't know we might use it now i guess there's no harm in using it now um, there's no reason for us to bomb the tinted rock with only with only two bombs here obviously i probably wouldn't take small rock um, just because it does reduce our movement speed our movement speed is quite good thanks to roid rage so i don't really want to ruin that quite yet um, I mean, Turdy Touch is kind of whatever. I'm happy to have uh, Montezuma's Revenge, though, as is a very powerful item if you can wield it correctly. Uh, but again, with the loss, you got to be real cautious. Got to be real careful. Uh, Secret Room's probably to the left of here. And it is. And we get lots of money. Okay. We can bomb the keeper here for a for a uh, increased amount of angels of angel deals as well as devil deal chance. We go into the shop and oh man, we get the coupon as well, y'all. We get the coupon up in here. Oh mama, so we can get the battery or the, the coupon up in here. The battery with car battery with coupon is what I meant to say. We have the coupon up in here, up in here, up in here. Uh, but the reason why this is even more awesome is because not only do we get to have the coupon for Devil Deals, but we can now use it twice. So, yeah, this is potentially balling out of control territory now uh, with car battery and double use of the coupon as we essentially can get all Devil Deals for free. Um, and, I mean, you know, they're already free on the Lost, obviously, but again... Normally, normally, if you're playing as a loss, you only get to choose one, and that's it. And then they disappear forever. Uh, but if you use the coupon, 
you get the item. And then you can also take another another item. And of course we get an angel deal because uh, the relic is literally useless. So is that eternal heart. So what happens if we use our <coughs> the reverse emperor card from an angel deal, I wonder? Do we get put back in the angel deal? I will say this is not a good fight for us, as you just saw there with the uh, with close quarter combat of war. And uh, taking an early, an early hit against war is definitely something I do not want to do. Especially with like the wonkiness of the bombs and everything. So we got to be real cautious now. And again, this is where this is where the loss kind of you get tested. So we're gonna have to use our spectral have to use our spectral tears uh, to great advantage. Where are you going, War? Where are you going? So we get the Cuban meat, which does nothing. And yeah, we didn't get put back in the Andrew deal. I didn't think we would anyway, but yeah. Now, yes, we could have and maybe should have gone into the shop to use the coupon and car battery combo um, to get like a couple of you know free items. But there wasn't really any premium item in there that I wanted. Um, and I don't necessarily want to use our money to reroll the, the store and then maybe not get the premium item that I want. So I'd rather just wait until we get a good shop. You know, we're going to be looking for like champion belt. We're going to be looking for a uh, treasure map. Um, definitely want, I mean, you know, one combo that I, or one space item that I would give up for this combo, even though this combo is amazing, is definitely the glowing hourglass. We're going to be, we're going to be rerolling hard for that. Because the glowing hourglass essentially undoes and removes the possibility of death from the lost. Um, theoretically, anyway. I need to get fancy here. We can just simply do this. Obviously, we want to get some damage as well. Any damage is good damage right now for the lost. Wow, that quick shot, though. We have to maintain our distance now because I cannot get in close with uh, Majazuma's Revenge, not safely anyway. Yeah, you got to be careful of the, the quick shots from the, the fatty baddies. Seagram should be here. It is adjacent to the store, which means that we can get in there for boss of Uno Bamba. Uno Bamba. Um, yeah, Tarot Cloth. Here's the, the perfect scenario is for us to either find the 9 volt or even better if we find a full charge. Arrow cloth really doesn't do anything for us here. And again, we want to reroll hard for... Uh, we want to reroll hard for the uh, glowing hourglass. There we go. So that's the reason why right there I was talking about we want a full charge because essentially that guarantees that we get everything that we want. School bag as well as a PH Dizzle. We can outright just buy PHD. Um something we might end up doing again there is still the possibility of us getting a double devil or a devil deal here that can give us a uh a double like item so i am going to take ph dizzle to range up because obviously uh, tears up would be great as well as a uh, movement speed even though our movement speed is pretty good 1.6 i'm not going to complain about that that's a lot of diglets you know a lot of them Obviously, the stopwatch is going to help us greatly here. We need to not get so... Uh, we need to get not get so cocky with uh, our hubris and uh, the fact that we have Holy Mantle, but also Montezuma's Revenge. So that almost got us in trouble against those uh, fatty baddies and war, too. But that's where the concept of having a, a very good amount of movement speed is going to really take shape and giving us that, that survivability and potential to get out of the get out of harm's way before harm gets to us. Okay, a lot of nothing in there. So there's no real reason for us to play judgment. 
We are going to get a full charge on uh, on the coupon. Now, getting the school bag also wouldn't be that bad because we could possibly get something like the blank rune for algae's. We could possibly get uh, Book of Shadows. You know, anything like that with the losses is, is top tier. Or again, we could still take the we could still take the coupon and car battery play while also having the glowing hourglass, which is going to be something that we're looking for as well. The stem cells, which does again not really a whole lot of anything for us. I mean, we get a shot speed upgrade that's great, but you know, we need we need tier effects here. We're not we're not exactly knocking it out of the park. Spin to win is spin to bad. Okay, so let's go. I think I think taking the coupon, using the coupon to get um, to get the school bag here is ideal. I don't know why I did that. Why did I? What? Oh wait, I, it's because I can't buy the red heart. Never mind. That's alright. My brain was was already a step ahead of me. I was like, why in the world did I buy the more expensive item? Uh, but yeah, the we we can't. We literally can't pick up that red heart. Reason why? Good job, brain. High five. Okay, <clears throat> so now is when the lack of damage is going to start becoming apparent. Um, and I don't mean becoming like apparent as in like, congratulations, you have a boy or a girl, uh, becoming apparent as in it's going to be obvious. So what I'm trying to say is we really need to get a devil deal and we need it now. I mean, if we're gonna get an angel deal, like at least give us sacred heart. We did get sacred heart. Uh, yesterday, so, you know, I gotta turn it down. <coughs> this was recorded on a different day. But game, if you want to be so kind to give a sacred heart back to back, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say no. YouTube conspiracy theorists out there will say rigged. And to that, I'll say, whatever, we have sacred heart. <laughs> leave, leave what you want. As long as we get sacred heart, that's all I care about. What? She lay a, she lay a, a grub as she died. Is that what happened there? I mean, obviously we hit something. Not quite sure what, but first room here. We get Ace of Diamonds, which is good because we need money. Being far away from the, uh, oh, it's two Ace of Diamonds. Oh, excuse me. Well, well. Oh, mama. Okay, so we can make a lot of money happen in here if we get lucky enough. Even, like, one egglet blowing up here is good for us. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. Again, Humbling Bundle is going to give us a ton of double coins here. Uh, one that makes you, makes you small, we might as well be a little diminutive. We got a good amount of money here. Uh, we want to save our key for the shop. Not. So it works. Nun's habit is literally useless. So here's the cheers to that. Now we could take it. Or you know what we could do. Your boy just thought of something. We kind of have a glowing hourglass potential here without the glowing hourglass. Stick with me on this. What if we bought the ventricle razor and gave ourselves an exit portal in every single room? That would allow us to teleport out of a room if we get hit and refresh Holy Mantle. So a very unique niche situation here. One that could be a lifesaver though, like straight up lifesaver. Um, this would also allow us to take challenge rooms. So I'm definitely down for this. So basically all we need to do is we need to drop a ventricle razor, razor portal in every room that we want to. And that's going to give us a way to escape should there should we get into trouble like if we get hit in this room right now what we can do is we can jump into that blue portal before our iframes wear off and come back into this room and give ourselves a way to get to get the to get holy mantle back 
And that's kind of pog, if I'm honest. Yeah, so let's let's pretend that this is an enemy shot. We go, oh no, let's jump into the portal real quick and then go back in, and all of a sudden our, our holy mantle is back. Yeah, that's uh, that's big time plays right there. <coughs> and we can always guarantee that we're gonna have a portal as long as we lay one before we get into the boss room. So should we get in trouble against bloat, we can just leap out and then come right back in and have basically unlimited attempts against them. But that's predicated on us getting out of harm's way before iframes uh, blink off. I don't like our proximity here to the brimstone shot. So yeah, ventricle razor secretly kind of broken for the lost in a weird way. Like I'm again, I'm totally digging this. We failed another devil deal. Don't ever let the game don't ever let the game make you believe that it can't hear you, because it definitely can. Um Wow, that is pretty unbelievable. Uh, I do want to use our Ace of Diamonds. So now we can just go straight to the boss room here. Actually a little tilted that we didn't get a double teal. It is floor five, you know. And we can even go into this mob trap room and uh, collect whatever's in here for free without actually having to do the room. As we go, screw. Go, so. No, uh, no problems there, but unfortunately, again, without us getting a uh, devil deal here, our, our offense is severely neutered. I mean, I guess we should be happy we got a damage upgrade, but we're going to need a lot more than that. Like a lot more than what we've got right now. I was a rainbow champion. I'm very, very willing and happy to have gotten rid of that. So we can just go in here. Luck up hill here. It's kind of like unne it's unnecessary, but you know, it's it's fun to use Ventricle Razor. Yeah, we just have to make sure that we use Ventricle Razor in every single room, and we will always have a way of getting out if we get in trouble. So really, what I'm trying to say is there's no excuse for us to fight in a room where we don't have Holy Mantle, like at all. The only way that I bung this up is if and only if we end up using it in a room twice, the same room twice, which I'm not going to do. Uh... Let's go, go back to the shop here. Actually, let's take a look in the boss trap room while we're here. Yeah, this is going to give us damage here. Definitely down for that. Here we go. Gonna drop that one there, and then we'll go uh, drop the blue portal. <coughs> I'm gonna try not to use it because I I just want to save time and get across the map. Obviously, we could have gone for boss rush, but I don't think that it it would be I don't think it would have been safe to do so to try to rush through mom. Um, and getting to the store here is a little bit more important actually because of the coupon that we've got. Now, if we can get if we if we can get the glowing hourglass. Would I take it over the coupon play, the multiple devil deals? At this point, I would say yes, because it just adds another layer of protection. It's going to be a slow run, uh, mainly because, again, lack of damage, yada, yada, yada. But oh, they're lost. Settle down, Isaac. Need to go so, so ham. Yeah. Gonna buy the sharp key just for five keys, and we're just gonna go back to the start. 
Okie dokie. Uh, we have 26 bombs. Good lord. I want to use that for some tarot cards. Something. I'm going to use that in there. I'm going to use the ventral razor in here. Use it away from the door so we don't get tapped again while we're trying to retreat if we do get hit. Which is likely with Red Mom. Red Mom's actually the easiest mom to hit with Montezuma's Revenge. As long as you don't go too close to the door. Because she she drops her foot she she drops her foot so frequently that like you can just line up the shot. Just light her up. Here we go. Perfect mom fight. Um do get a devil deal and I, I, I'm only doing this because we finally get a chance to use this combo that we've been waiting for, but this is like I have a cult's great because obviously it's damage and range, but bloody bloody gust is is totally useless here, but we still don't have a devil deal precedent and we got two devil deal items. Um And as tempting as the negative is, I don't think it's the right play here. Because we do need damage, but this is not a powerful enough run to take Lamb. I'm sorry. Like if this was if this were Eden, it'd be a totally different, totally different situation. But this is not Eden. <laughs> we have to take a lot of things into account when it comes comes to the lost and lack of stats here um is the that's the main story of the day people ask me what time am i going to be streaming tomorrow uh the answer is most likely around 3 to 4 p.m central time um which is uh <laughs> which is roughly 4 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, you know, convert convert your own time zones accordingly. And watch a little bit of football tomorrow before we go live, of course. I mean, this gives us two boss items, so I'm going to go ahead and rip uh, Pandora's box and we get booster pack and HP. All right. Fantastic. Just super duper. Amazing, amazing, amazing yeah. devil deal, not devil deal, whatever. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there just because I feel insulted at this point. The amount of HP that we've seen on regular Lost here has been kind of sickening. Let's go use our Ace of Spades in this room here, just because it's a big room. And obviously we're gonna hold on to the chariot card just in case we get into trouble. Again, you're looking for you're just looking for other ways to insulate yourself against disaster as the lost. Like we don't even have to fight uh super sloth here if we don't want to. Only reason why I did is because he might give us something that we can use. But obviously the chariot card is going to be very useful. Especially in a room like this, where it's you know, it's not a not an easy room to not take damage in. But I would, I mean, I would teleport out with, um, look at that range. Look at that range. I would teleport out of here with Ventral Razor before I would use the Chariot card. The chariot card is an absolute, you know, oh, oh crap moment. We got to get out of here now. And honestly, I would probably even retreat to the portal that we use, that we create with Ventral Razor rather than try to fight the boss. Unless the boss was under was like what what like like death was like imminent for the boss. I would probably just use the chariot card to get to the Ventral Razor portal unless the boss's death was just like obvious. We got to hit him like they're one taps. Um then I would, you know, I would just go I would just go balls to the wall and just nuke him. Um but in the most likely scenario, we're going to use the chariot card to get out of the room that we're in. Like if we get hit from the opposite end of our ventral razor, we need to get out of there. It's our it's our emergency get out of jail free card. And to be quite honest, I probably wouldn't even 
Well, no, that's not true. I would I would still take an Emperor card because we we have unlimited attempts against bosses with the with the Holy Mantle. We have unlimited attempts in every room with Holy Mantle. It's just a matter of being in position to jump into the Ventral Razor should we get into catastrophic danger. Again, here's a room where we're going to be using Eye of Occult and our range to the maximum extent. And uh, you see the uh, you see the results there. You know, our damage is really not incredible in this run. Um, but I think that we're using what we've been given to a very good effect. It's creating a very interesting fun run. A little bit stressful. Obviously, I don't like being low damage. You know, 7.16, some people are going to say, oh, that's not low damage. What are you talking about? But uh, I would say I disagree. I think 7.16 is pretty bad. And this is also not a good fight for us. So let's put Revengeful Razor in a very easily accessible spot and try to try to maintain our relative location near it. Because uh, we got Daddy RNG here. And try to nuke him down as fast as possible. I will say that this is one of the bosses where the stopwatch is actually a, a, actually a little bit of a handicap. And we don't get another devil deal. Again, no surprise there, but hey, at least we got some damage. A boss trap room over here. And you know the best thing about Ventral Razor is that it doesn't have a cooldown. There's no there's no charge that you need. So we're always guaranteed to have that that escape window. We get spun out of this too. Wow. Whoa, okay. Let's not ever do that again. All right. Okay, fistula. Uh. So that was one of those perfect scenarios there where something spawned literally on top of us and we were not in the position to uh we weren't in the best position to get to our portal immediately so there was a brief window of vulnerability there um you know where the the iframes weren't going to matter but thankfully i mean you just you gotta you just gotta keep your head about you you gotta keep your wits and your all mind don't panic. <coughs> panic makes bad plays worse. No guppy items at all. And we have 50s. And we have 56 keys. We can go into that vault. Get Guppy's eye. One thing we don't want to do is put the portal next to a uh, doorway. That does cause a lot of issues. I mean, we, we might as well, I guess. Like, it, it doesn't seem to matter what we have. Uh, doesn't seem to matter what we have in terms of uh, affecting our devil deal. We're just not going to get one. The worm. It would give us a tears up, but it's not. I mean, I. Wiggle worm is like it's okay. This is the last floor that we can get a devil deal anyway, so we might take it. But honestly, I think perfection is probably still better. I'm only taking the number magnet temporarily just to boost our devil deal chance on this floor. Again, obviously, because we need a devil deal. So the big rooms are actually a little bit of a, a handicap as well, just because even though you have a lot more room to, to maneuver, it's not necessarily that easy to get back to our ventricle razor portal if we need it. Now, ideally, we will never ever have to rely on this combo of, of Ventral Razor and, the, and just being the lost, but 
it's good to have it. You know, it's just like insurance. You know, you hope you never, ever have to need it. But when you do have it, it I mean, you're going to be happy. You're going to be happy you had it whenever you need it. Let's put it that way. Cautious here. I don't think we need to use Ventricle Razor. And you don't want to panic. We don't need to make just a mad dash uh, for our portal if we get hit. That doesn't that does not mean, you know, like abandoned ship. It means let's just let's settle down. Let's take a take it one step at a time. Not panic and just, you know, assess the situation. Now, using Montezuma's revenge against mom is not a good idea as a lost. I will say that right now. This is one of those rooms uh, or this is one of those fights where again the stopwatch not is not necessarily a strength. And <laughs> with an angel deal, of course we do. And I mean, yeah, we'll take Revelation. Revelation is going to give us a little bit of help. Um oh, Wow, that is I mean, that's just a I mean, I don't even know what to say. Like that, if you don't think that Isaac listens to you, I, dude, like how jazzed were we for this coupon car battery uh, scenario, and then we just didn't even get to use it. That's Isaac for you. One of those Sinvicta plays the lost. Gets coupon car battery. Only gets angel deals. Yep. Yep. Revelation is going to remove our need to use Montezuma's Revenge now as our primary source of DPS. Which is good. Because obviously it's got way more range than uh, Montezuma's Revenge. a death button behind there in case you were wondering what was happening. Occasionally, you'll find a death button behind one of those pillars. It's not every time. That's why I said occasionally. We got PhD. Puberty and Lemon Party. All right. And we'll be vigilant about making sure that we're putting down our portals. Global D Twanky. Your dolly gives us a much needed tears up. And that one turned to a bomb, all right. So we also we can do stuff like that. And then um, make it to where, you know, if we go if we go the wrong direction, we can just simply just piece on out of there. Seagram should be here. Yep. This is a room we actually have to be pretty careful in. The red blorbs can be a little buggy. A little buggy with their brimstone beams lasting a lot longer than <coughs> excuse me, than the, than the graphic shows. <clears throat> okay, so obviously this is going to be the most dangerous fight for us here against Isaac, so we got to be real, real cautious. And, you know, we talked about the stopwatch being a little bit of a handicap against Mom's Heart and uh, Daddy Long Legs. <coughs> Definitely the opposite for Isaac. There we go. I'm actually surprised we were we had the damage to push him past phase two without him even getting a uh, getting a spawn off. So that's really good. We go with the dual beam of Montezuma's Revenge and Revelation, and we're looking looking pretty pretty damn good. I gotta say. All right, here we go. We get the apple, which is going to give us our maxed out tears rate. Uh, we don't really need anything else. 
Now, what's nice about having the apple and perfection is that we get to basically always have razor blades that we're tossing, which means that we're dealing essentially double damage every single shot. And that is pretty pogged. Now that doesn't that doesn't count for damage that we're dealing with razor with um, uh, revelation, uh, but or or Montezuma's revenge. But it still is nice to have you know our tears be our main source of damage now again. It's gonna be a deceptively dangerous room here. And there's no need for us to get rid of the chariot card. Spider baby. I think that we are going to be able to get the dunk on this run here. I don't want to I don't want to get too presumptive. Presumptuous. I don't know what presumptive is. <clears throat> but I think we're going to be okay with unlimited amount of attempts against Blue Baby along with having the chariot card. I think we're going to be all right. So this was a fun run. Um it was a lot of I haven't played the Lost in a little while and you know getting a combo that sort of opens your eyes to like different scenarios with the lost is uh it's it's refreshing you know so thank you for watching everybody i hope you enjoyed this run if you did make sure you click the like button and of course don't forget about the live stream happening tomorrow again i'm probably going to go live between 3 and 4 p.m central standard time um which is 4 to 5 p.m eastern standard time so do your time conversions there and thank you for liking commenting and subscribing your question of the episode is have you ever seen or used this scat this uh ventral razor combo as the loss post them in the comments down below and let me know your thoughts on what you thought about that combo if you hadn't seen it yet and thank you again everyone for all the support have a great weekend and we'll see you tomorrow for the live stream should be a lot of fun until then so long everybody Thanks for watching this video. I like thanks to pages of mine like Ulysses, Missy, and Railgun. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of the Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta.